This is finally the big day. We've finished the cage. Uh, Caleb's opening up the first box here. Just got in. I, we think these are the black trees. Uh, it might say... No, it doesn't say. I think these are the black trees. The blacks are going to go in this cage. I don't know if we've even shown this cage off yet. Um, just finished it as well. Oh. oh, sorry. And we've both been staying up all night getting these this yes. space ready for them. What's the back say? Blue. Oh, it does say blue. Okay. Okay. So, do you want to? Just open, we're all in here. Let's just open up the blacks real quick. Okay. Are you excited? I am so excited. I'm also nervous. You guys know. Every time we get new animals, I get nervous. I've been. I've been you nervous. Be nervous. For for, yeah, Caleb wasn't nervous till we were driving out, and I was so nervous that he was like, "What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I'm just nervous." So these, these uh, shipped this morning, uh, I think from Texas, the company, it's called Fascination Herps. Uh, they were great to work with, by the way, uh, answered all our questions, which I had a ton of questions. You always have a ton of questions. Um, and they were Everyone awesome. Everyone knows this. They communicated quickly and well, and uh, we were very happy with their customer service, and so far the animals look good. They're Although packed, we didn't keep that guy well. out for very long, but yeah. that's okay. Yes, the packing is spectacular. The whole larger box is insulated, very thick. It looks like two layers of insulation, and then there's heat packs. Well, I don't. Oh, I shouldn't say that. There's cryo packs. So I'm not sure what those are. And then there's these more typical shipping boxes that are also insulated. And here's the female. That is awesome. Just look at her. It's okay. She's peeing on Caleb. Uh, of course she is. And this is exactly what you want, though. She's extremely active. It looks like she didn't get too cold at all. Zero chilled factor here. Um, she looks great. Oh, she's beautiful. She looks good. And, yeah. and uh, Caleb's just walking her through his hands. He's not squeezing her or constricting her. Obviously we don't want her to run and escape somewhere in the room, but uh, 
I don't think we had to worry about widening the holes. <laughs> yeah. no, no. We were worried about the Early. holes in their uh, hide boxes being too skinny, but uh, these guys are not. <laughs> well, and they're not full grown, and they, they, they warned me that they weren't. Open that up. Yeah. yeah. All right. She's lovely. Let's let her go home. There you go, girly. All right, so do we have any name ideas for these guys yet? Um, I don't. I haven't thought of any yet. So there's the blacks. Woo! They're in. Um, we'll probably come back in a few minutes and spray them down and see if we can't coax them up to where it's a little warmer. We have a ceramic heat bulb in the top so that it can provide a bunch of heat at night without. Uh, Boy, do we need to clean those? Being windows. too bright. But yeah, so uh, we will do a better video tomorrow showing the whole cage and setup and hopefully. <laughs> get better shots of them. Although, that was good. You got some good video, I assume, mm -hmm. just now. Yep. So let's take the blues. Awesome. Okay. Got the male blue tree. Now, you guys recall, we had a little blue in this cage. Um, we didn't have these hide boxes in there yet. I don't think he liked the hide boxes we had, so he was always out of the hide boxes and he was really stressed out. I think he just felt too exposed. So we added some more plants and some hide boxes and this breeding pair will go in there. Little Blue is now over here, tearing up this little cage because he's too big for it. But he didn't like the big cage, so we'll have to try a different big cage for him um, here in a couple months. This is the male. Looks just like Little Blue. His little claws are stuck in the bag. Mm -hmm. There you go, bud. Can you mm -hmm. get up under him? I can try. Oh, 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 there it is. There we go. All right, all, all right. right. Walk him. He's not that much bigger than Little Blue, is no. he? No. Ow. Oh, he's so sharp. Yeah. yeah Ow. Ow. I'm really putting on gloves before I do the female. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I gotta put him in the cage. Ow. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, he's very sharp. Here, I'll, I'll pull her out. Oh, do you want to clean up all up? Yeah, I'll just put gloves on. <laughs> I don't want him to jump out in the meantime. Oh, man. Oh, you're fine. Oh, well, hey. She's checking us out. Oh. Little snake here. And we got a photo bomb in our shot. Hi, little Ann. Is this the female? Already open? Oh, she's stuck on back too. Yeah. Oh, poor little things. She's really not that big, is she? No, these are young. Come here. Oh, look at her. Oh, gloves make it so much better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she has a little. Maybe scar down here, but uh, otherwise looks perfect. These are small. These are definitely young. Hopefully that means that they'll adapt quicker. She looks nice and alert too. Yeah, they look like they're in great condition. Yeah. A little skinny, but that's just because they've been shipped and they're all dehydrated. But hopefully we'll get them sprayed down. And uh, yeah, these are our four new additions to the reptile barn. So thank you to Fashion Fascination Herbs. They are gorgeous. Check that out. Wow. Look at that. She's just sitting there. Look at all Alright guys. Last night, I was far, far too stressed out. <clears throat> for a proper video taking. This, I hope, will be a better introduction to these incredible animals we just added to our lives. This is a female, uh, Varanus Bicari. 
that is a black tree monitor, right? She's beautiful. Absolutely exquisite. She's not super happy with being handled, but we do need to work with them. I'm trying not to constrict her and, and hold her like tightly or anything like that. Just real loose, real uh, um, slow movements. But look at her. Look at that beautiful face. So, uh, what are we doing here? We have always known, ever since we started our, our business, that we wanted to have a lot of monitors, especially the tree monitors. We just love them. Uh, we just think they're incredible. So, when the blue tree monitors, it was decided that they were going to become Ascites 1 animal. Uh, we've talked about this on the vlog. We decided to kind of um, speed up <laughs> our timeline a bit. So, we already had little blue, right? We bought this pair of black tree monitors and another blue pair, another uh, Varanus... McCrayi from Fascination Herbs. These are wild caught imports. They're a little bit skinny, as you can see, but they've been in captivity for months. They've been eating. Uh, they they were doing well in captivity, so we decided to go ahead and take the plunge and and add these four animals to our collection. This is again is the female of the black trees. Beautiful, beautiful species. I'll put her back here in a minute. I don't want to stress her out too much. But they do need to get used to being handled. So, um, the both the black trees are a little bit older. Um, and they don't get as big as the blues anyways. But uh, we're going to keep them together in this cage. I'll show you the cage a little bit better as well. Oh, look at her. She's so pretty. Ooh. It's okay. Don't want you to touch that heat. That uh, heat lamp, little girl. It's too hot even for you. Anyway, I'll go ahead and put her back. But yeah, I just wanted to. Sh I just wanted to let you guys know that I am excited. I don't think I felt very excited last night because I was so stressed. It always stresses me out to ship animals, guys. Always, always, always. And I mean, I do that for a living. But <laughs> we just uh, ha had just gotten them in when we filmed that footage from last night that you're gonna see here in the same video. Uh, but I wanted to let you guys know that we are excited out of our minds. These are just absolutely dream animals for me. I think they're incredible. Caleb, too, he's so excited. He's been wanting a pair of these blacks forever. Just look at this beautiful thing. Absolutely stunning animal. Um, so, yeah, just wanted to get a little update today. They're doing well. In fact, the blue tree male already ate some dubias, so that's fantastic. Um, but we've been spraying them down a lot, trying to get them hydrated after the shipping. You know, that always tends to dehydrate reptiles and people when we fly on airplanes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So here she is. I don't have a name for her yet. Caleb, I think, is going to name the two black ones. I think for the blues, we're going to go with um, Evelette and Delay from 10,000 BC. I know it's a nerdy movie, but we love it. Anyway, look at this beautiful girl. Oh, just stunning animals. Look at this tail. Look at this tail. It just goes and goes forever. Alright, well, black tree monitor. Um, we've got a male in there as well, and we're going to keep them together, like I said. They, they seem to have bonded already. They're sharing the same spaces, basking together and everything. So, And we'll let you know how they do with eating and all that, and as they grow. But uh, the two blacks, they look in good condition, and the male blue looks in really good condition. It's just the female blue that's a little skinny. So we'll fatten her right up. I'm going to put this girl away. Take these gloves off. Their claws are just so sharp, and I'm a wuss, guys. Oh, man, yesterday trying to handle them with just my bare hands, I was dying. So that's where we're at. Um, I hope that uh, you all are excited with us. Uh, I am. I, I can't describe to you how excited I am to be keeping these animals. Um, I know I've been a, a ball python person for years now, but uh, 
lots of these other species I really, really enjoy uh, working with. So, yep, that's, that's our update. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and uh, comment down below if you have anything to tell us or ask or anything like that. Uh, name suggestions. And until next time, we're the Reptile Barn.